What's up, everyone? Jason Brown here, the king of programming. We're on day two of our three-day training series. Let's head over to the whiteboard, see what we got on deck for today. All right, guys, so I've actually already been through my warm-up sequence, so I'm gonna drop a link in the show description, so feel free to check out day one so you can see what that full warm-up is. Um, but we've dropped it in this video as well, so you can get a repeat of that. I am wearing different clothing, if you're wondering, but I did essentially the same warm-up today. However, I am doing two different movements for my primer, which you'll see here in a minute. But for today's training, similar structure to day one. Day one, we did sprinting, if you remember. We did some pull-ups. We did some uh, bar dips, and we weighted those. If you remember, I got through that, and I was feeling uh, pretty, I guess, gassed, if you, if you will. I'm planning on getting through all five sets of this today with, again, similar theme. We've got a giant set of a hang power snatch for three reps. We've got a bench press against bands for six reps. And then we've got a zercher squat against bands for nine reps. We're gonna go through that for five sets, resting 60 seconds between exercise and building in weight, the goal of getting to relatively heavy load where we have about one to two reps in the tank uh, for that final set of the day. And then we'll culminate the day with some accessory work with our back raises and abdominal work using the physio ball, doing some stir the pot. So let's get right into our primer. Let's start getting through this today. And if you have questions, feel free, drop those in the comments. I'm here to support you guys. I would love to see you guys give this style of training a try, especially if you have a home gym, really good fit for people with a home gym. All right, guys, so we had a little uh, issue today. Uh, my wife had to go pick up the kids. I didn't plan well, I didn't get in here early enough. So I've already done the first three rounds of this giant set, my hang power snatch, my bench press, my zercher squat. I've already built in weight. I'm going on set four of each of these. And so we'll record from here and on out. But uh, yeah, so if you're wondering why we're starting on round four, that's why, but overall I'm feeling pretty good. So we're gonna get right into this. Uh, giant set and then we'll finish things off with our accessory work today. So funny enough guys, I actually don't Olympic lift that often. This particular block of training, I've been doing a little bit more Olympic lifting. I go through phases where I want to do certain things a little bit more and sprinting being one of them. Olympic lifts being one of them, but definitely not the full variation. As you see, I'm not doing a full snatch and uh, I probably won't ever do a full snatch, but needless to say, my training for the most part with full body style training, Olympic lifting is one of those things that I do maybe a few times a year, uh, but it's definitely not something that's a staple. So, so a lot of you probably here, some of you have been following me for a long time, probably know I'm not someone that preaches the Olympic lifts. Um, so just kind of, you guys caught me at a, a point in time where I'm doing a little bit more Olympic lifting. Uh, but with what I'm doing, this fits in actually very well. And even being in a deficit with my diet, with my calories, 
it tends to be a little bit easier to uh, work with because I'm only doing lower rep sets. So anyway, it's just something to take into consideration with your own personal programming. If you're like me and love optimizing your health and performance, love cookies and tacos, subscribe to my once weekly newsletter, EWOD. There's zero pressure, zero spamming to join and a lot of value to gain. And as a special thank you, I'll send you a discount code to any of my training subscriptions. The link is in the description. See you on the inside. All right, guys, this bar, I've recommended this bar to so many people. I could probably make an extra thousand bucks a month, but needless to say, I don't have any type of affiliate, but Lead FTS, I write columns for them, and um, I really like uh, some of their equipment. And this bar is probably my favorite piece of equipment. It is the zigzag bar. I use it for zercher squats, zercher carries, extensions, pressing. Obviously, in this video, we're using it for two things. And uh, as you can see, I've got the bar set up in the rack, the same height for my benching. So I'm going right from my bench press into the zercher squat, and it's a nice seamless transition. All right, guys, round five, hang power snatch. I've only gone up another five pounds. Bench press, I'm actually gonna stay at the same weight as you saw that last set of six. I, I couldn't have got another rep with that. So I'm gonna stay with that and I'm shooting for six, but it might be more like five reps. And then my zercher squat, I'm gonna go up and weight probably another 20 pounds with that. Felt relatively easy, um, but to be honest, the zercher squat the last three weeks in this four week block has been kind of a hit or miss for me. I've gone heavy some weeks, not heavy the other weeks. I definitely think the positioning with it, I can still work on to get a little bit better at. So I'm not super concerned if that's not like one to two reps in the tank. Um, but overall, I feel pretty good today. So let's get our, first, our final round done and we'll see how we're feeling from there. All right, I think by now, many of you might be thinking, is this enough to make gains as far as hypertrophy are concerned? The short answer is yes, but there's obviously a lot of key factors that are dependent on you. So I tend to find people with high levels of experience, people that have higher training ages, do really well with this training because they're able to push hard. They have more developed nervous system. They're able to recruit high threshold motor units with their big lifts. And for someone that might be a beginner, might not be best fit, but I would even say for beginners, they get more exposure to the foundational movement pattern. So it's beneficial to them. People that fall in the middle, you know, I, I think there's a lot of people, maybe some of you that are watching aren't ready for this style of training, but I will tell you as someone in their, in their 40s that I have trained a lot of different styles. I use the conjugate system for two decades plus and got great gains from that across the board, hypertrophy, strength, power. But in my 40s, now that I'm a little bit older and I've accumulated some mileage, this style of training I get better results from in terms of hypertrophy. Am I stronger? Probably not. My bench is probably about 50 pounds off my personal best, which a long time ago now, but in my 20s, I was benching in the high threes. Now I'm benching in the low threes. I still do 315 the last time I checked. So with that said, this is a great way to train to keep those bumps and bruises at bay. I feel good all the time. I feel a little more mobile, more limber, and um, it's very efficient. So the short answer is yes, you can, but of course it's dependent on you. And I think that if you're in your 20s, 30s, maybe this type of training isn't the right fit for you yet, but get back to me when you're in your 40s and things will likely change. All right, so we finished up our five round giant set. Now we're gonna finish off with some posterior chain work on my 45 degree back raise. This is from Rogue Fitness. In case you're wondering, I get a lot of questions about that too. I am using band resistance. I'm gonna do these for relatively high reps, about 20 to 25 reps. The glutes respond very favorably to high repetitions being predominantly slow twitch muscle fiber. So I tend to hit these for higher repetitions. And then for some abdominal work, some anti-extension abdominal work, I'm gonna hit a feet elevated stir of the pot, which you'll see both of those exercises. I'm gonna go through this for three rounds, resting about a minute between rounds. 
And that's gonna be it for today. We'll finish with a quick cool down and we're on our way and we had a great training session. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series thus far. We've got one more day left. And of course, you know, we've got a lot of awesome content to put out for you guys. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe. All right, we finished off with some breathing drills uh, to drive the parasympathetic nervous system and start facilitating the recovery process. So that is it for today, guys. I appreciate you coming along for the ride with me. And remember, till next time, results are king. If you're an experienced everyday athlete and you're looking for the best training on planet Earth, check out my free training subscriptions. A seven-day free trial link is in the description. Best program available on the internet today. I think it's very difficult to find a trainer like Jason. That Since joining Everyday Heroes, I feel like I've stopped working out and actually started training.